guys. Good afternoon. I'm Joe Kaplan and I'm the founder and the CEO of Tech Talk Media. There's a famous statistic that 90% of startups fail in their first three years. That's 90% of startups fail in their first three years. I said it again because it's so unbelievable. I've been building startups for as long as I remember. And when you hear that statistic, it's something that must scare you from building a startup. But actually, it's quite the opposite. And I'll explain to you why, and I'll tell you a little bit about my history. I was always a very inquisitive child. Actually, the day before my first birthday, I crawled into the kitchen uh, to discover what was going on on all fours, reached out to the kitchen service, and unfortunately, I poured a boiling hot glass of coffee all over my head. Now, I suffered from second degree burns. My mother and my father had to take me to burn clinics across London for about five or six years. I think for the next 10, 15 years, I still went back to clinics for, uh, for treatment. Now, I didn't come here to tell you a sad story, but when I came here to tell you that very early on in my life, I realized that life is full of very tough hardships that you have to go through. And sometimes those hardships are very much the makings of what build you into the person that you are today. Now, at one year old, I was you know, a little bit too young to understand that, but these things have become very apparent to me as I've got older. Now, I started my first business at 14 years old. When all of the other kids were playing computer games and sitting around and messing around and, and, and doing things that weren't productive, I felt to myself, I wanted to be the guy who was making those games. I didn't want to be sitting there playing the games and wasting my time. I wanted to be making them. So I put my entrepreneurial hat on. I tried to discover the best way to do that. And I came to a roadblock. I realized that um, I needed to have some money to buy the equipment, the computer equipment, uh, to get the guys to develop stuff. I needed money to get that done. Now, as a 14-year-old, it's not really easy. You go to mummy and daddy, you know, perhaps they invest in your business. Not a lot of parents invest in a 14-year-old's business that they're going to put their hard-earned money in. So actually what I did is I went out and got eight of my friends. I went to the wealthiest area in London. I took these eight guys and I started a car washing business. And I sent out my friends and I kitted them up with buckets and sponges. Now, I didn't ever get my hands dirty. Actually what I did is I knocked on the doors. I went around to the houses, I sold the car wash, I went and collected the money, and I made sure the guys were managed, they had food, you know, they had breaks, and we had a fantastic business. After two years, we had built up enough money to develop that games platform. At that point, I said to myself, what's next? I've developed many different innovations, what's next? We came up with a concept. The concept was, how can we take these startups and these innovators and put them on mainstream TV? Now, I didn't want them to be on news shows, because news shows live for five minutes, they all share the same story, they're not really that powerful because a lot of them are negative. How can I create a positive impact? So we set up a company called Tech Talk Media. Tech Talk creates TV series about innovation, entrepreneurship, major lifestyle changes, things that are all pertinent to us today. For us, we were very excited just to connect the entrepreneurs, but I think it had a much bigger impact and effect, and that's something that we didn't anticipate in the first place, so uh, it was really quite wonderful for us. Um, I've had uh, a reach out from authors, governments, politicians, celebrities in the last three weeks since we went live, um, from people that want to collaborate and see so much power and effect from what we're doing. Because again, it's not lobbying, it's not political, uh, it's not religious. We don't touch any of those things. We look at innovation, we look at passion, we look at drive, motivation, and anybody can do it. Doesn't matter if you're 14 years old or you're eight years old, it really doesn't matter. Anybody has the ability to do it, and it doesn't matter the resources that you have. So part of what we do is connecting and making that impact to other people around the world. Because I want you to see the show and say, wow, if that guy can do it, I can do it. Can't I do that? Can't I build something? And let me tell you something, it doesn't matter if you fail. I started off by saying that 90% of startups fail in the first three years. But let me tell you something, I fail loads of times. And failing is the only reason that I know what I'm doing today. He who makes no mistakes makes nothing. 
If you don't make mistakes, you will not learn from them. So it's very important. I, I encourage you all to go out there and get involved with something. Build something. Develop. It doesn't matter if it doesn't work. Because I promise you, the next time you go and do that, you're going to be much better at it. And the fifth time and the tenth time, you're going to be killing it. And that's what it's about. It's experience. Academia can provide you the basis for what you need to know out in the world. But the only thing which provides you the actual skills is when you get out there and do it. Because if you learn it in a book and you try to do it off the book, you won't really get in there. That's the truth. You need to get out there and do stuff and start making a change and effect. And together we can make the world a better place.